Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon. My top five fountain pens that I would want to replace. I'd want to buy these again if something happened to them. Um, the first off is the Sailor Stellar Black Hole fountain pen. This was a limited run, if I remember correctly. And I call this my Captain Kirk pen. It is one of my absolute favorites aesthetic wise. I think it just has a nice vintage look to it, but I can't get over the level of sparkle they got in this pen and it doesn't come off on my fingers which is just so fantastic it's petrified it's not gonna bother me so <laughs> I love this pen I chose a zoom nib so you get that gorgeous gold nib and I like that it is two-toned got that zoom nib tip it's a lot of tippage on the end there get to focus in just a little bit there we go I'm very fond of this pen and use it quite often. Next up, I have my Pilot Vanishing Point. This is the Rhodium Plated, and I've seen it called different things. I usually see it referred to as stripes. Uh, this is just an absolute workhorse, but it writes like you're, it's, it's just like a dream. It's so fantastic. It's just light and comfortable. You get that 18 karat gold nib. Um, I really wouldn't want to live without that fountain pen. I'm just so happy I ended up with that one. And my Monteverde Invincia Deluxe. This is the black chrome, so this is carbon fiber with a resin body on top, I guess. A nice has a nice feel to it. It's a very weighty pen, uh, very heavy. I would say this is probably the heaviest pen for the size that I have. Has a steel nib, medium. And this is one of my favorites. I like writing in cursive with this pen, but it's a really good one for manuscript writing. So I'll often, I, I find myself switching kind of like automatically to manuscript when I write with that one. So it's very comfortable for that. This pen is from Relic Pens. This is the Thomas Jefferson Monticello pen. I adore this pen. Uh, this is an Italian acrylic. This piece of wood here actually came from one of the trees at Monticello. And the nib is one of my favorite nibs of all time. If I can get to focus it in. There you go. It, it, it just writes like an absolute dream. So incredibly comfortable. And I can't get the camera to focus. <laughs> anyway, it writes so smoothly. I, you could convince me it was a gold nib easily. Like I'm kind of shocked that it is in fact steel. So incredibly comfortable. I tend to keep Rome burning or uh, Noodler's Rome in this pen all the time. I don't actually think I've ever swapped it out. There's just no roll stop on this one. And last but not least is my Kilk Camera Laterna. This is a Turkish made pen, handmade. And I think these are more readily available now, which is pretty fantastic. But the nib on this I absolutely adore. So all of these nibs are just my favorites to write with, but they all a little bit different, some quirks to them. This one just writes beautifully. I'm not even sure how to, to how to explain it, but it is just so comfortable. It gives me a really nice uh, thin line, but it's a juicy nib and I just, I love that. Like that's kind of the best of both worlds there. But the accents are sterling silver and got the countdown leader here, which I love. Um, if you enjoy film, this is definitely a pen that you would like. It's, the clip is a film strip and then the top is the best part of all. It's a little spinner top made to look like a film reel. I love it. So this is a comfortable pen. I would say stylistically, like the body shape, it, almost feels a little awkward when you're kind of holding it. When you're using it, however, it is incredibly comfortable and I have zero complaints. So these are the pens I reach for the most because they are the most comfortable to write with. I love them, would buy them again. And I thought I might go ahead and do a little bit of a writing sample. I've got my onion skin notepad, a little cheater page it comes with. And I'll just do a quick writing sample with each. 
on the onion skin paper just to kind of try that out. So this is the Sailor Stellar Black Hole Pen with the Zoom Nib and it should be, I think it's Blushing Mushroom from Ferris Wheel Press in this. Ooh, I actually love the way that's showing up on this paper. This ink does not show up well on white paper. This is definitely more creamy. I don't know if the shimmer is going to show up on this paper, but usually you have to give it kind of a few minutes to dry before the shimmer is going to show up. So I'll leave that. But that is, that is gorgeous on this paper. Wow. Have the vanishing point. This has dark matter. And that is from Pilot. Stripes is how I know this pen. I've seen it called a few different things. This is a medium nib. And the Thomas Jefferson Monticello pen. This has Rome Burning or Rome, Noodler's Rome ink. from Relic Pens. Monteverde and Vincia Deluxe. And uh, this is medium nib. I think all of these are mediums except for the zoom nib. waiting for the Ferris wheel press to dry. I'll just go back over all these. Alrighty, now that I've got pens everywhere, I'm gonna rip this off. It doesn't look like any bled through to the opposite side. Got a lot of ghosting, obviously. That's just gonna happen with this paper. It's part of its charm. Let's see if that shimmer showed up. Okay, I'm seeing some of it. This is not an overly shimmery ink, but I am definitely getting some out of that. That is beautiful. Okay, so highly recommend lighter, grayer, maybe purplier inks on this paper. That is really stunning. Dark Matter showed up well. Rome Burning showed up well. This is also Dark Matter. These two are Dark Matter as well, so. Yeah, that looks fantastic. I definitely like that. I really bought the notepad for letter writing, which I have written a few on it so far and really have enjoyed it, but I haven't tried a variety of inks or pens on it yet. So that is pretty cool. So thank you so much for watching. I would love to know uh, what your favorite fountain pen is or if you have a variety of favorites or if you like any of these out of this bunch. Thank you so much for watching and have a happy fountain pen day.